known each other for um, how long now? Four years? Four years, probably, yes. Four years, yes. Yeah. And uh, I mean, we have been, at the beginning, we, you were uh, one of my lecturers, and then yeah. uh, we carried on as colleagues, uh, yes. working together on the same uh, research project. Um, I would like to ask you the first question, which is, why do you think mathematics education is important? Mm. Well, mathematics is probably the core of uh, most school curriculum. If you're just thinking about education in terms of school, primary and secondary school, I think every teacher, every head teacher will think that mathematics is crucial. And I think most parents would think that mathematics is important, that their uh, children succeed well in mathematics. I think, interestingly enough, this country has had quite a checkered history of mathematics. Uh, a lot of people don't like mathematics, a lot of people say they're no good and I think it's crucial that we actually make sure that all learners re realise their potential of mathematics and that is where research and practice come together and I think it's a constant challenge uh, to make sure that everyone is numerate so they can actually function in our modern society but also can do much more than that, can succeed, can enjoy it as a subject in its own right and also it's a very important part of the sciences and technology and all the important things for the country's economic future. So mathematics is just terribly important and mathematics education is equally terribly important to make sure that we have all our learners realising their potential. Um, and what do you think are the opportunities uh, if you study at the Institute of Education, especially mm. in terms of um, connecting research and practice? Well, one of the main things about the Institute is it is so big and it is so diverse. So I think there's a possibility of people whose main focus is mathematics education, research say, but to also think about it in many different ways. There are people who are interested in more policy perspectives. There are people who are interested in more looking at the ecology of the classroom. There are people like myself who are very interested in teaching and learning and really trying to uh, work with teachers to change cl classroom practice to make mathematics more accessible and more exciting. So there's huge diversity. And at the Institute, we have a real wealth of people who are doing research in these different areas of mathematics education. But we also have a large team of people who are much more practice oriented, who are involved in uh, teacher education of all different types, whether it's initial teacher education or master's degrees. And these, I think, so we've got this really good interface of research and practice, because a lot of us actually do both. We're actually in schools, in classrooms, in homes and families thinking about mathematics but also more broadly looking at the theoretical issues about teaching and learning and I think that's where the Institute is so good because we can point to colleagues in more the foundation subjects or point to you know people who are thinking about policy and join in with them and mathematics is always there. Um, and what are your personal research interests? Yeah well I started my research career actually very much looking at attitudes so that was my first uh, research, and I still think it's very interesting, although I haven't looked at it for a while. This is what I mentioned earlier about so many people are fearful of maths and say they can't do it. And I think we've moved on in a lot since then, but I do think there is a whole emotional uh, um, barrier often to engaging with mathematics, particularly in this country and the Western countries that I think we've got to get over. So that's my initial interest. More recently, uh, I've been involved in two main areas. Um, one is to look at how maths is used in workplaces. In a way, this is looking at the transfer problem. All too often you hear from employers saying they've done all these years of maths and then they come to my uh, work and they can't do X, Y, Z. And I think it's actually to problematise that whole notion of transferring from school to workplace and what is actually needed in workplaces, I think is crucial. Um, another area, and I've got three areas actually, another area that I did a lot of work on, which is uh, looking at students' conceptions of probably the most distinctive area of mathematics, which is what we mean by proof. Mm -hmm. Because proving in mathematics is very different from proving in science and proving in courts of law. From, and I think actually what students believe proof in mathematics is all about, and then how do you engage students in that proof process? is just fundamental to our subject and is a huge link to mathematicians because mathematicians really fundamentally think that's crucial we should get right in schools. 
And the final area, which you know very well, Irini, mm -hmm. is the whole area of using digital technologies and computers to try and uh, enhance teaching and learning mathematics. And I've been probably engaged in that sort of project for 20 years or so in all different technologies. And uh, I think more and more the technology and the software is becoming more available to schools and teachers. Mm -hmm. And what our job is to research the best ways to use it. And in a way, that's the project that we're involved in together. Mm -hmm. The project that we're involved in that you could say a bit about is actually looking at the initial stages in algebra. You know, people watching this will say, oh my goodness, in every country, wherever you are, this is a big transition from numbers to X's and Y's. Mm -hmm. And what we're trying to do in our project is to try and develop a computer system that will be helpful for teachers and for students to make that transition. So I don't know whether you'd like to say a bit more about that project and how we're trying to work. I mean, I was going to say that um, I was really intrigued when I was teaching, actually, because even though my maths education research background was very much theoretical, I hadn't yeah. been involved in practically using technologies in the classroom. And that's mm. when I was really intrigued by that research area. And that's yeah. why I came here and I did my maths um, education mm. course, because uh, my master's maths education course, because I wanted to find out more about mm. design digital literacies and how mm. this can be used to enhance the teaching and learning of mathematics. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought that it was exceptionally good, the, maths, uh, the mm. master's course that uh, I attended here. Mm. And that's why actually afterwards um, yeah. I decided to carry on doing research in that field. What is so good about this sort of place, like the Institute, mm -hmm. we can talk to teachers, they come to our, they talk to initial teacher training, the PTC students, and they were engaged in research with us in a way. So mm -hmm. I think this is a major, uh, a major topic actually that will continue and run and run. Mm -hmm. But I, one thing I wanted to mention too, that when you were in the course, um, what is amazing about the Institute Master's course, and I suspect it was the case for you, is there are students from all different countries. Yes. We have gone through phases, uh, mm -hmm. through the time I've been here, with having a lot of English teachers who are coming to do their Master's. And then we have a mixture that it's become harder for them to come and so yes. we have a lot of overseas, but probably in the, in the group you have uh, people from all different countries, but they can all engage, engage with the same particular mathematical issues, which is the ones that we're talking about from a theoretical point of view. Indeed, what changes is the practical bit, but they will yes. all be able to engage. Don't you agree? Yes, I mean, there are, they come from different educational backgrounds, but still, mm. I mean, the, the problems, the difficulties that students face mm. are widely known internationally. It's not only yeah, yeah. In, the, in the UK. So yes, I mean, when we shared all um, our ideas with the other students, it was, we noticed that, mm. in fact, when we were teaching our students, we found out that it was hmm. actually the same difficulties that students were fac facing, for instance, with algebra. That's hmm. the one thing that I was interested in. Um, it's interesting, actually, because in, in maths education, there are, you know, obviously as researchers and as faculty, we have to produce books and knowledge outputs, yes. and that's really crucial. We have yeah. to take the field forward, which I think we have at the Institute, mm -hmm. generally, collectively. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also feel in particularly, uh, I suppose, school curriculum or you know, institutional things like science and mathematics and English, I happen to feel we have an obligation to, to be outward facing and, and think about practice as far as we can. Mm -hmm. Although it's very much a collaboration and a partnership. We never ever say to teachers and schools, this is how you should do it because we have our own strengths, we have our own ideas, but mm -hmm. so do they and they're in a very different place from us mm -hmm. and we have to share it. And uh, in the same way, I do think that it's quite important to influence policy as well. So mm -hmm. I think in, in our group, you can talk about policy issues, you can talk about uh, technology mm -hmm. issues, you can make sure that technology is used as best it can be. And uh, I do think actually the, the other research area that I was interested in is the maths in work one, which I do think is something that is so important over and over again, they come out with, uh, people come out with saying, all these people don't know things and can't mm -hmm. do things. And I think we have to be able to interpret that sort of research. We have to be able to say, well, it is great pity that they've gone through all this time in schools and they don't seem to be able to do this. Mm -hmm. 
And what do we mean by this? And we have to think about how whatever you learn has to be relearned in a workplace. I mean, that's mm -hmm. really our message. We learn how to do things on paper and pencil yes. in maths. Or you do it, and now you do it on computers. Mm -hmm. And they're slightly different in terms of how you represent the mathematics. And I think that's such a key message. It's not just doing the same thing. And uh, uh, so I think the whole, you know, the research project here is very important for that. Thank you very much, Celia, for your time. Mm. It was a very nice. Um, it was very nice to talk to you yeah. <laughs> and learn something more <laughs> yeah, about uh, what you feel about your um, time at the mm. Institute of Education in London. Mm. Thank you very much, and it's been delightful talking to you, and also it's been delightful working with you. Thank you. Thank you.